It's All Things Considered, member-supported Hawaii Public Radio and HPR One. I'm Dave Lawrence. Stephen Marley, second eldest son of reggae pioneer Bob Marley. He has won more Grammys than any other Jamaican artist. His most recent album, The Revelation Part One, The Root of Life, and we're grateful that he took time to speak with us about his own musical roots. Um, earliest musical memories would be um, us, meaning you know my brothers and sisters, playing music around around the house and inviting the people around the neighborhood to come on, on weekends and to hear us, you know, play around. I was playing drums, and Stella was on the piano, Ziggy was on the guitar. Did your dad involve you in music off stage too, meaning fans have heard recordings of those early times that he'd bring you and Ziggy out on stage, for instance, but I also wonder about sort of what you just described, but the offstage ways that we may not have seen in which your dad nurtured what would eventually be your life's work, which is music. Yeah, very much so. At the same time, he was very adamant about us being educated, you know, in school. He didn't want us to feel like because we are Bob's kids, we have to do music. Or he wanted us to be real. At the same time, education was very important to him, so... We were well focused on school. Other than that, you know, he used to teach us like the scales, you know, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. He used to teach us that and teach us saying it backwards and tell us to sing from your diaphragm and all of these things. Were you watching him do stuff with the guitar too? Yeah, man. I used to fetch the guitar. I used to have to go and fetch his guitar. He he used to call his guitar Old Faithful. So he used to say, go and get Old Faithful. (laughs) And we'd have to go and get the guitar. So, I mean, you know, our father is our mentor. He's not just our father, but him is our lama, he's our mentor. So we take our lessons very dearly, and you know, we respect him to the highest level. The transfer, if you will, of the legacy. Children playing in the streets, on that note. Yeah. I would say, in a lot of ways, it kick-started Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers and your life of collaborating with your brothers. It was my mother that really advocated us becoming a group. She went to him and she said, Bob, they're singing, you know. This was us playing, like I told you, at home, and the neighbors would come until we started charging, like a 50 cent or 25 cent <laughs> and thing. And she went to him and she said, um, Bob, they're singing, you know. And him said, oh, yeah. And that's how children play, and he wrote that song for us since we were singing, you know, all right. So he gave us our first song. Talk about what you can remember of that. You know, just like how some people have a lemonade stand. Well, we had a little setup in our garage. and <laughs> I guess it was cute. But we were really having fun, and we were very serious about it, you know. <laughs> totally. And you can just see it's not just cute. You can see how it fits into the rest of your life, I guess. That's what I'm saying, too. Yeah, well, no, no, you can see that. Right. I guess then, you know, it was just being kids. And right. The love about producing. Um, It's kept you so busy in the studio working on other people's records as opposed to recording your own music. Is it just because you just enjoy uh, the collaborative? What is it about producing? Producing is really creating music, you know, and to make something from nothing. You know, you don't know where you start, you know, you start with a little word or a line or, you know, just the whole creative process of seeing and hearing and, and bringing a song together and bringing the musicians together and all of that is very exciting to me, you know. As a final note, Hawaii, thousands of miles from the origins of reggae, the musical genre here in our state, as you may know, the dominant rhythm in the islands is in fact reggae. And when you think of that, how would you rank Hawaii in terms of our connection to reggae? No, and Hawaii is one of the number one places. Even my own experiences, the first album I did was Damien's album called Mr. Marley. And two of the songs from that album went number one in Hawaii. So I have a hands-on experience to know that Hawaii loves reggae music and is very up there on the list. Hawaii speaking, especially being a state here in America, that's number one. We love that. Hey, my brother, Stephen. <laughs> yeah. I hope you had fun today. Yeah, man. A nice reasoning with you, my brother. It's great. Your brother spoke so highly. Ziggy said so many nice things about you, so it means a lot to finally <laughs> yeah. get to talk. Thank you. You know, losing the physical presence of our father, 
at a very young age. His lessons are there. We listen to his songs and just the person that he is. But his physical presence was taken away from us. And really, Ziggy is the one that held us together. He is the one that we look up to. That is Ziggy. Really appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, Dave. <laughs> Definitely, brother. Thank you. Aloha. Educate yourselves of Africa. <laughs>